Hi, I'm Ujwal Thapa. I'm the co-founder of Entrepreneurs for Nepal. It's a 30,000 plus members network that helps businesses increase their chances of success in Nepal. So today I'm going to talk about the Nepal Advantage, where you can build a global business for the broader region based in Nepal. I'm going to convince you why you should invest in Nepal and here are 11 reasons quick reasons that I want to point that will point that will help you make a decision so the first uh, reason that I want to uh, talk about to convince you is look at our location we have the best location we have China on the north and India on the south if you look at the stand chart survey it talks about China becoming the richest country in the world in 2030 and India just lags behind China and in China and US right? so we are between two of the richest country in the world which helps us be a great strategic location for building a company here so number two reason I want to give is we are connected to the world and not many of you know this but actually we're accessible to the US, European, the Middle Eastern, Southeast Asian and Asian markets. Within 24 hours, you can fly your Nepal staff to your headquarters anywhere in the world. New Delhi, which is uh, the capital city of India, is just one hour away. The Chinese cities like Chengdu, Guanghao are three hours. Hong Kong is only five hours away. Singapore is four hours. And all the Arab, Arab countries are more or less five hours away so think about that when it comes to mobile penetration mobile connectivity you know we're, we're reaching almost 100 percent right now in a few years we are right about there and it's cheap and we have 28 million people here so that's a big population to cater to when you think about uh, you know mobile penetration even social media like Facebook it has already crossed more than 2 million uses so I believe you know we're very connected to the world the third advantage I see is the time zones time zone advantage for US and European countries Nepal is has almost 12 hours time difference between the, the North American countries which gives you which ensures that Nepali employees will be working while the US employer employees will be sleeping so it gives you a 24 hour working schedule and for Indian and Chinese companies we are almost in the same time zone so you know we work while you work too so it's a win-win situation so, so, so the fourth point I want to raise is the cost advantage for global companies is huge Nepal will attract top talent at a huge cost advantage where the average salary for a starting IT engineer is around four thousand dollars a year compare that to you know most uh, you know IT professionals who probably go beyond twenty nine thousand dollars a year in, 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 in developed countries so based on our experience you know the cost to run a 10 person office in Kathmandu would be under a uh, uh, hundred thousand dollars a year and the dollar rate is one dollar is equal to almost a hundred Nepali rupees so there's a huge cost advantage for global companies think about that so the next point I want to raise the fifth reason to invest in Nepal is Nepal is coming out of a period of political uncertainty and history is proof that companies built right after big wars, civil wars, uncertainties go on to become uh, to, to, to prosper more than other companies I mean it's the ideal time to to invest so you know and foreign investment has been almost you know, neg negligible you know. so this is this is the right time the sixth reason I want to give is there are some success stories because the lack of global companies Competing has created a situation that whoever enters will win. 
For example, if you look at Ancel, which is uh, a company owned by Telia Sonera in Europe, uh, look at look at how it went from zero customers to six million within ten years of operations. That's a huge, uh, you know, increase. There are other examples like you know, Potikoshi is a is a, is a U.S. Nepali investment. There's a, a Surya Nepal is a U.K. Indian and Nepali collaboration. All have become you know. Uh, one of the largest private sector enterprises in the in in, in Nepal. So, so think about you know, uh, Varex Health, which is basically a Nasdaq you know, Boston-based uh, healthcare analytic company. There are uh, an animation studios like Incessant Rain, which actually works for major television studios or uh, Hollywood, even Hollywood companies. So, you know, whoever win enters will win. There's such an opportunity here. So the seventh reason I want to give is there is a strong education system that's generating great young talent because uh, local engineers here are an eclectic mix of, of global exposures from you know being educated in Nepal, India, the UK, Australian, Australian uh, universities and major US you know, univ countries. So. Uh, the software engineering market is similar to the Eastern Europe. Even non-Fortune 500 companies can become dominant employer in Nepal to attract the best talent and grow. So it can even attract the, the neighboring North Indian states which has 300 million people living in it. So it can attract the talent right from there. So the eighth reason I want to give is there's a young and rapidly urbanizing population, which is the fastest in South Asia. That gives you the talent you seek. Because, think about it, there's 18 million Nepalese were between the age of 15 to 64. And the literacy rate is almost 80% now, probably more. So, you know, young Nepali labor is driving uh, growth in the Middle East, in 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 Korea, uh, in Malaysia. So I believe that you know you can tap into this uh, urban population that's also becoming a very consumer-driven uh, society, which uh, which which is demanding high-quality global goods and services right here. All right, so the ninth reason I want to give uh, is there is high quality talent, which we can tap into. I have personally you know, seen Nepalese who have worked in NASA, we have worked in Google, in Apple, Intel, major European um, multinationals, and you know, major, major multinational banks also. So I believe that, you know, you can tap into this high quality talent uh, if you uh, decide to invest in Nepal. And the number 10 reason I want to, you know, talk about the environment of this country. Look at, look at this, this, you know, we have fantastic weather. We have one of the friendliest people in the world. Well, you know, people have rated us as one of the friendliest, so that's good. And we have breathtaking terrain. I mean, like, we go from the hot savanna like weather uh, in, in the plains uh, to the highest mountains in the world within 100 kilometers. So think about it, you know. Think about the fact that we have the holiest uh, places uh, in the world for two major religions in the world, Hinduism and Buddhism. You know, Buddha was born in Nepal, so they, you know, look at the potential there. And Pashupatinath and Janakpur are two, two famous uh, a, a, a pilgrimage sites for uh, um, Hindus. That's two billion, you know, catering to two billion people in the world. So think about it. Great advantages. And I want to add another point, which is basically many growth areas exist in Nepal. 
because we've never you know even tried to you know, take advantage of it. Nepal hasn't been there, you know. Because Nepal borders you know three hundred million people in the world. We have you know we have a rapidly increasing middle class in Bihar and West Bengal and you know Upper Uttar Pradesh and Uttaranchal which are the bordering Indian states. You know they have phenomenal growth rate right now. And in Nepal, you know, there's, you know, I want to highlight a few uh, sectors with great potentials, which is basically uh, healthcare is one sector, you know, uh, where it's facility distribution and services. The second would be software, health, uh, in terms of healthcare, IT, analytics, internet, and design. Third would be tourism. The fourth would be manufacturing. And then the fifth would be energy. And the sixth would be agriculture and then also information and distribution systems. So with all these advantages, uh, there are also some risks that you have to manage if you want to you know, come to Nepal, which is basically there's still a degree of political turbulence that you have to, um, you know, that, uh, that, that we need to fix. There are, there are problems of politicized labor unions that, um, that, that are there. There's lack of infrastructure, especially um, stable source of utility and energy. There's a lack of strong legal structure, which, uh, which has been addressed, and there is um, there's a lot of ex exchange rate rate volatility, plus there is uh, institutional red tape and corruption. So anyway, I think Evan, um, I've given you a, a brief picture of what uh, what it will be like to invest in Nepal and what potentials it holds. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, do uh, write to me. I'll, you know, uh, I'll have my information in the about section of this YouTube video, and um, uh, a copy of of uh, uh, of an article about, you know, the eleven regions to invest in Nepal is there's a download link right there. You can download and have a look also. Um, please um, look at my blog whynepal.com. W H Y N-E-P-A-L, whynepal.com, is a blog that I use to, you know, talk about entrepreneurship and uh, the, the state of things in Nepal. So have a look into that also. Uh, if you have any questions, um, just write to me, and ask away, you know, and I hope uh, you'll find Nepal um, that amazing place for you to invest in and to trust um, to build your future in and I would be happy to help you facilitate um, anything that uh, you want to do out here in Nepal. Thank you very much, best wishes and uh, have a good day. Bye.